Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I am going to be going to get an ambulatory EEG done. My name is Lindsay and I share my journey here on YouTube with chronic illness and disabilities. I have epilepsy. I'm going to be doing a whole video about ambulatory EEGs, the experience, my advice, my tips. First things first, whenever you're getting an ambulatory EEG, always wear a button-up shirt so that you don't have to take it over your head and get caught in a million wires. Also, exciting news! My J2 flushed this morning for the first time in a week and a lot of you who watched my lives knew that it was clogged. So we finally got my J2 back! So we're going to do feeds during the day today, but I got to get ready to get going, but I just wanted to show y'all button ups are the way to go and I'm also wearing a tube top because that doesn't have to go over my head so tip number one <laughs> okay I'll talk to you soon hello everybody we are now in the car with mama Murray the legend herself <laughs> we are heading to my epileptologist <laughs> one of a kind yeah that's for sure it's rare you know zebra I'm wearing my zebra shoes because zebra. So right now I'm a little nauseous because normally when I hop in the car right after I wake up I get a little grody feeling so I am about to take my mint which is one of my nausea meds and then I'm going to be eating a chewy bar and I'm also going to be using my GI Soothe oil so I just put it under my tongue and it helps with my excessive nausea. We're heading to the epileptologist to get my ambulatory EEG put on. Hey, Mr. Man is here. He's resting in the back and then I have physical therapy this afternoon. That's what's going on. I'm gonna try to get better control of my symptoms. And yeah, that's all. I love you. I still can't believe that my tube worked. But I was like, oh my God. We just got to the place. It took a bit to find parking, but I just let Simon go potty. So we're gonna go in now. And there's sirens everywhere and it makes me nervous. Okay, we're gonna go, bye. walking too fast. My last clip not looking crazy for the next three days. <laughs> I could sign in, I promise. Thank you. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, he's got happy butt. Yeah, he does. Look at my shoes. I was not prepared for this. I was not. Look, you're on the computer. Oh, I'm on the computer. Being good. You're being so good. He just wants to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watching you, mom. Simon got to say hi to a bunch of the nurses and docs, so he was a hit. This will be fun. Heading home. I am egg. This is not gonna stay. It's not. I. I. Mm -mm. It's making me so overstimulated so quickly. So yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. Leave this be, but this is just too much for me already. We're heading home. We'll have about 45 minutes to rest and then we gotta head out to physical therapy. I am home. I already am over it. <laughs> but it's Friday, so we have Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday I get it taken off. I am tired. I am fatigued. Doing Kepra right now. We're resting, relaxing. Simon got to say hello to some of the nurses and medical staff at the epileptologist. They were very excited. Oh, we have to call the member. Joys of EEG. This EEG comes with video portion, which is interesting because my previous EEG, if you haven't seen that vlog, I will put it in a card above. I have gotten an ambulatory EEG in the past, but since I'm more active with my seizures now, we're hopeful that this will show us something. And if not, we know what the seizures I'm having are deeper in the brain. I'm meeting one of my friend's boyfriends tomorrow as well. So this is a great first impression. <laughs> hey, you know, disabled bodies are beautiful no matter what. I gotta take my own advice sometimes. We opened up the screen and it's asking us for a login. Do USB. Okay, yep. Unplug. Unplug. Alright, unplug it. Yeah, I'm plug it. This one. Not 
There it goes. Okay. Yes, here also. Both yes, there are, they are. One flashing and the green. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. So yeah, if you get a number um, to call, call the number because they're very helpful. <laughs> Let's watch my brain. That's kind of cool though. It is kind of cool. Because like I said, my last EEG did not have a video portion. Oh, hi, pretty princess. Hi. This is the button I'm supposed to push if I have any events. All right, everyone, we're back in the car. <laughs> With Mama Murray. Oh, it'll be fun at PT today getting to walk in there with the service dog and all of this fun stuff. That's it. We're going to physical therapy. I never really get a lot of vlog footage of physical therapy because, like, privacy. I try to respect other people's and my physical therapist's privacy and hear in my voice that I am tired. But we're just gonna hang out, do PT, which will be interesting with all these wires on my head. At physical therapy, I fixed my eyebrows because I needed to feel human. So. <laughs> Mine too. I'm so connected to a million. Thanks, a handsome boy. Here we are, all done. Yeah, all clean. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Yes, thank you. We're done for the day. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Here we go. Good job. You're so good. You did good. You did so good. Finish up with physical therapy. We're heading home, and I'm not gonna do anything the rest of this week. <laughs> Probably won't leave my house. I am so tired. We got Simon back here. He did amazing today. It was a long day than we've had in a long time, and he did beautifully. I'm also going to do a live stream. Thank you for your blinker tomorrow. Stop driving. I can passenger drive as much as I want. I can't drive, so I have to passenger drive to fulfill the craving. Being sassy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go live tomorrow and answer questions on there as well. Yeah, we're heading home. I love you. Bye. Mama Murray's helping out. We're connecting the fluids. I'm feeling icky. I just had a really bad headache since I got this put on. The fluids should help a lot though. Thank you, Mama. My mom is feeding the babies. I just had an event. You can see it in my eyes. I'm like out of it. It is a lot later in the evening. I'm about to crash soon. I'm currently disconnecting from Kepra and I'm pushing a Zofran through my central line. Gotta take my night meds still. Tomorrow is the day I normally go live on YouTube. I think I might go live on Sunday instead this week. We'll see. I got this little hair scarf that Autumn got for me. It's satin, so it's really soft. I'm using that to wrap around my head just to help with the electrobe staying in place. I'm gonna do JTube feeds. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Nighttime cuddles with the babies. Are you same? <gasps> He's right there. <laughs> Oh, the thief, the thief is out. Oh, you're the cutest thing in the world. And I'm obsessed with you. It's night one, going to sleep with the EEG. I have to do Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Nope. Oh God. Welcome to Lindsay's brain trying to function past 9 p.m. Yeah, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Good night and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I got my EEG put on yesterday morning. I just did my phone call with the people who can back up the information. So I just did that. I just woke up. Luna was all cuddly this morning, crawling on top of me. Whoever gets to watch that video is gonna get to see my babies cuddling with me all night, which is so cute. She's actually here with me right now. Hi, pretty princess. I actually slept a lot better than I thought I would. I definitely was stirring a lot. This is the chaos that I have to deal with. This is all the EEG stuff. This is my central line. <laughs> this is my JTube feeds. I'm still getting used to saying JTube feeds. It's really easy for me to get overstimulated right now because there's so many things on and around me. I feel a lot better having slept last night, so I'm doing a lot better today. And yesterday was just way too long of a day and the day before as well because I I had my pain appointment and then therapy and yesterday I had an EEG put on and then physical therapy. <laughs> so Saturday and Sunday is my rest day. They say to sleep with the little bundle where the wires are above you. 
you so that they can get accurate readings while you sleep and everything. We're just trying to get as clear results as possible. I was just so exhausted that I slept like a rock. I might go live on YouTube today. I don't know. I'm I actually might do it tomorrow since we have friends coming over today, but I love you guys. I'll keep you updated. One thing that's been really helpful with this hanging and connected to really heavy bag. This is what the bag looks like. This is what's giving me really bad headaches. Figured out a little trick to avoid headaches with a clip. I mean, literally any clip that you have. I take the ponytail thing, give myself some leeway if it does pull, it doesn't pull on my head. Make sure you can move your head around and then just clip. Just launch that. Hmm. Ooh, it's pulling on my G-tube, all these wires. Oh my God, I'm already overstimulated. Oh no, did I just break it? Of course I did. I'm gonna take my morning mat and do my Kepra. Okay, back to my mini demo. Voila! If you move, it's not gonna automatically pull on your head. That's a hack that I've discovered this time around if you are getting headaches from the wires pulling on you. We got Adam. And Luna's laying on my pills. Yeah. She's been all cuddly. She's like, mama got weird things on her head. So I'm gonna comfort her. I'm about to disconnect from my two feet. I'm gonna go rest because I have a headache and I just feel icky and I had one seizure this morning so far. We'll probably connect to feeds later, but I just need a, a mental break from being connected to a million things. What the computer monitoring looks like, it's all over the place because I'm talking and moving. I need to refix my head thing. It's not down right now because I'm eating. I didn't really vlog anything today. Today was mostly just time with my fiance and friends. Just eating some cereal. I've been wearing this pretty purple satin hair scarf. I've had a few events. We've pushed the buttons. We were trying to note them. There's not much else going on. Just offline pretty much majority of the day, which was nice. I like taking break days where I just focus on being present. Kepper's running. It's definitely later than normal. I was very foggy for a while, so I don't, I lost some time there, but who knows. They recommend that you try to stay in one room as much as possible with the EEG computer on. I think that's it. I don't know. I'm, I have a headache, so I'm gonna get this light off of me because it makes me look good, but it makes my brain hurt. Take my knife and meds, and then I have my food feeds next to the bed. That's it for day two. Tomorrow is my last full day with it on, and then Monday I get it taken off. That's it. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. I just woke up and I took this big man out. What do you smell? Oh, you smell in my EEG. <laughs> what are you smelling there, huh? You're getting all the smells. Look at that, too. Look at that, happy boy. You're a couple. Oh, he's alerting. He's telling me I need to do my seizure meds. I realize I have not done my capra or my. Am I his hand on my shoulder? <laughs> Love you. But yeah, I just. <laughs> no, you can't chop that. Oh, don't push the button. If the button pushed, it was my service dog. We did the upload for the day, basically uploading all the data and the events and stuff. I'm pretty nauseous and I definitely think I need to do my morning meds. So I'm gonna go do that. I feel icky. Someone's gonna eat me if I don't do my meds. Well, I've got him keeping a close eye on me. I'm currently flushing my J-tube and disconnecting from feeds. I'm just very nauseous and I feel very gross today. Ew, I'm so nauseous, oh my god, okay. Okay, I need meds, I need to do meds because I'm getting really yucky and I don't want to have a seizure. Are you pushing the button? Good boy.
Maybe I'll lean you back so I can get to your line. I know. Come on, baby. Come on. I know. Come on. You gotta come back. Baby. I know. But you gotta come back. Come on. Come on, baby. Lindsay, come on. I got you. You're here. You're safe. Come on. You gotta come back. Good. You gotta come back. No, no. I'm holding you back, okay? Lindsay. There you are. Come on. I got you. <coughs> Take a deep breath. <coughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. I just woke up. I had worked off my entire head thing last night. I was so exhausted. And good morning from Luna. I finally get this taken off today. All right, everybody. We are heading back to the epileptologist to get this EEG removed. I'm over it. I'm exhausted. I'm ready to have it off my head. Mr. Man back here, he's still sleepy. It was a chaotic morning, and we'll chat and recollect later when I have the spoons to do so. We lost one. We are here. Yeah, he's in the meeting. Put the boys in there. Catching my breath. And yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it totally funny? Yeah, good thing. The service is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good boy, Sammy. Good boy. Good boy. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I say to bring a hat for after EEGs. Six. No one can tell him that. That's it. They really just, they use a little solvent on cotton. cotton ball and they just soak it first and it kind of just breaks down the glue and dissolves it. North, towards Frederick. You can see my forehead is pissed off because that's the Ehlers Danlos sensitive skin. My mom's gonna help me wash my hair when I get home so that I don't feel absolutely insane. That's why I always say to bring a hat with you for removal because you will always look crazy no matter what. So, <laughs> love you guys. I'll talk later. Hello everybody. I'm human again. You can see my forehead is not happy at 
all. I had my mom help me wash out my hair. I washed my face. So I have clean hair, clean face. My nurse is coming for my dressing change. I'm done with my EEG and I feel more sane. I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot harder of a time with this. Last ambulatory EEG, I wasn't really having gilly seizures. So this one, it just, it was a lot. Between my GJ tube doing feeds and my central line and doing fluids and Kevra and everything and the EEG, which is like a million wires attached to your head. It was just very overstimulating and I'm exhausted and I didn't sleep super well. It went fine, all things considered. I did go live yesterday, which I had so much fun at getting to talk with you all. It's such an amazing, beautiful community and I just love you all so much and I love getting to talk with you and learn more and just hang out. <laughs> so figured I would do the chatty portion of this video now that I don't feel crazy, no makeup, just wash my hair. Oh my God, you can literally, yep, there's glue. You can see glue. <laughs> all the glue. I'm gonna be picking glue out of my hair for a while. Be warned. <laughs> I'm gonna first answer questions that I got and then just my general advice if you are going to be getting or if a family member friend is gonna be getting an ambulatory EEG. And if you see me looking away, it's because I'm referencing notes. I wrote down questions, advice. So I'm looking at my phone and my computer to give you the most accurate information possible. So first things first, what is an EEG? So EEG is a medical test that measures the electrical activity that's going on in your brain using small electrodes that go on all over your head. Normal EEGs are short-term. They're typically only an hour, basically a shorter duration. An ambulatory EEG means that they want to measure you for several days, several nights. It's a lot longer. The way that they put the electrodes on are slightly different for an EEG versus ambulatory EEG because the ambulatory version that's longer term has to last for that duration. What is an EEG used to diagnose conditions like epilepsy, sleep disorders, brain tumors, different things. You can learn a lot of information. Great way to roll things out, try to get some more information. I am getting an ambulatory EEG because I've had significantly worse seizures since I went into status epilepticus November of last year and I had seizures yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. I had so much fun on the live stream. I was struggling. I was not as with it as I thought I was. A lot of you were picking up on it before I even was because I was so foggy. So yeah, that's why I'm getting mine. What is the experience and process of getting an EEG put on and taken off? This is what I wrote down. Check in wherever you're getting it done, especially if it's outpatient. Usually if you're admitted to the hospital, they'll just send a tech up to put these on. They have to get the proper measurements in order to place in the proper spaces, which I think it's pretty cool. So they'll measure it. They'll do a little doo-doo with a little wax pencil. You sit on on a table or you lay down, they put glue on you. In order to do that, they have to kind of go back and forth pretty quickly. And it almost feels like when you're itching or when you're scratching your head, similar sensation to what it feels like when they're putting on the glue, rubbing the glue on and then using one of those papers and then putting the electrobe on, push it to get friction to make sure that they were staying best possible. Also, the glue is really smelly, just like a heads up, because I was a little like, whew, I forget how smelly it is. Very strong glue. First time I got an ambulatory EEG, the guy described it as some more plasticky glue. A normal EEG is more gooey, gunky, sticky. Ambulatory EEG, it's a lot stronger of a glue because like I said, it has to last a lot longer. The compressor is a little noisy. I have a video clip of what it sounds like kind of a cool sensation because they're basically just drying the glue. And then typically they wrap you up with gauze, tape, and then put one of those meshy things over your head to kind of keep everything in place. There's also one electrobe on your chest, which I haven't even looked at my chest. Oh yeah, you can see it right here. It's all irritated. And there's instruction throughout. If you've never gotten an EEG before, they're typically a lot more chatty and giving you information, talking you through what it's gonna feel like, what you should do and not do during it. All of my past ones was just the brain wires with the fanny pack and that was it. This one had a computer portion where you had to have the laptop set up open and it would record video and sound. I had to keep light on so that the camera could see me. I had to keep it six feet away from me, which is also why I had to sleep with the light on. So my quality of sleep wasn't as good, but I was still able to sleep. Helpful if you sleep elevated. I would pull up the little beginning of where the wires kind of connect. I would lay down, put all of the fanny pack wires, everything just above me. That way I could sleep, I could roll and do everything. And since it's up here, it's not pulling on my head. That is my advice for sleeping with an EEG. I had 
had a constant headache during this EEG, which kind of sucked. I'd get calls from the people, plug this USB, take it out of my recorder, put it into the computer, tell them details to any events that I had, and then they would write the notes in, back up the data, and then I would take it out and plug it back in. You push the red button, which I showed y'all, to record an event, and basically would note for the people who are reviewing the EEG, hey, I was symptomatic here, or a seizure was happening. So that was my experience. Is it as difficult as regular EEGs to take the glue out of your hair or more difficult? I personally think that ambulatory EEGs is harder to get out of your hair because it's a more intense type of glue because it has to last longer. So taking it off, I just did this morning, they have a little cotton ball, special solvent to break down the glue. They wet it, let it sit, and then they take the electrodes out and then they just use the solvent to kind of break down as much as they can. The girl who did it for me was very, very sweet trying to like not pull any of my hair out. I've had a lot of hair thinning and stuff. I always had thin hair, but with my Capra, it's actually caused some excess hair loss. And with the excess EEGs and everything, it's struggling a bit, but that's that. Shampooed it twice. We used some Dawn dish soap to try to break down some of the excess thing. Left conditioner soaking on my hair, and then we just rinsed it out and I washed my face. Is it painful? No, I wouldn't say it's painful. I have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, so I have very, very soft, sensitive skin. I have two little wounds from the electrodes that were on my forehead. It's not that bad. Like, I've had so much worse pain. It's a little uncomfortable. It's inconvenient because you're attached to a million wires and this big fanny pack and this laptop, like, it's just annoying. So I want to say it typically takes at least 45 minutes to an hour to get it put on. Taking off, it's 15 minutes. It's not nearly as long to get it taken off as it is to get put on. What is the hardest part of the experience? Honestly, just the headache that, like, never went away with it is getting the glue out of your hair afterwards. Easiest part is the removal. Removal is pretty uneventful. That is pretty much all the questions. EEG tips and tricks. Can't shower during your study because you're connected to a bunch of wires, but definitely showering before your study is helpful. You can't shower during your study, and especially when it's ambulatory, that's a few days. Your hair should be clean and dry for the best results. Not using conditioner can just help the wires stay in a little bit harder. I've already talked about wearing a button-up shirt. Take your meds as normal unless instructed by your doctor. Always listen to your doctor. I was pretty much in a constant state of headache for the past few days. Like, I had to sit in dark rooms a lot, clipping your EEG wires to your shirt. I also did like my brows and stuff just to feel a little bit more human. I had some mascara on. Doing whatever makes you happy. Make yourself feel as confident as possible. Have things ready where if you get overstimulated, you can do this or you can do that. Earplugs was my best friend. Everyone's different when they get overstimulated and need different things. But if you do have a game plan for ways to help yourself or feel better or calm yourself down. Having body wipes, baby wipes, anything to kind of keep yourself clean or feeling good. I always keep deodorant, different things, kind of feel better until you can shower again. Plan only necessary outing, especially video EEGs. They really need to watch you as much as possible. Try not to itch or scratch at the electrodes. The least you can mess with your head wrap better. Be as specific as possible. Click the button, write it down. Any events, any auras, any seizures, any symptoms, etc. Especially if they're severe. It'll give more for your doctor to look at. Pairing as many stationary things as possible so that you're not up and moving around. Crochet, watch a television show, do a puzzle. For me, editing and filming, doing thumbnails, replying to comments. Always bring some kind of hat, scarf, wrap, whatever you're comfortable with or you feel good with for after you get your EEG removed. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Camera overheated, so I had to take a quick break, but I wanted to finish this video. Be cautious and listen to your tech regarding electronics. You can see I have a bunch of hard pieces. Try as much as you can not to pick them out. We'll most likely pull your hair out with it. Try to be as gentle to your hair as possible in terms of getting the glue out. Some Dawn dish soap to try to rub at some of the glue. Sometimes using oils can be helpful. It's different things to try to like break down some of that glue. And then doing a deep conditioner or a hair mask or something after all of it because your hair has gone through the ringer. So definitely be gentle to your hair doing a deep conditioner doing a hair mask kind of gives some life back to your hair after everything everyone that is it for this video i really hope that you found this video helpful things to prepare for things to think about if you're getting an ambulatory eeg or if you have family or friends who are getting one i hope that this video was informative i hope it makes you feel better i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me getting to see what the ambulatory eeg experience was like thank you so so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps me know that you are enjoying 
my content. Don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family. And don't forget to click on that bell so that you know whenever I upload. Don't forget to comment down below any video requests as well as chronically fabulous if you made it to the end of this video. And I love you so, so incredibly much. I'm sending you all my love and spoons. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.